what's going on guys welcome to another video I actually got something different today which is surprising because you know I've been posting like you know the challenges the palm fishing that whole deal because that's what you guys enjoy that's what you guys have been wanting so that's what I've been doing well today is gonna be a little bit different I have a vlog and I have not vlogged in a while so this is gonna be kind of weird it's been I'm telling you it's been a minute since I've vlogged I'm kind of excited about it though because I do enjoy it and you guys freaking love it so there's no reason why I shouldn't be doing them so I actually have a series coming up on the channel of uh, the first tournament of the year I'm actually leaving tomorrow morning to go to it and this is pretty much episode one I guess you could say because I'm pretty much vlogging getting the boat ready the truck ready my rods and reels ready that whole deal for the tournament coming up we're leaving tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and I'm gonna be documenting this whole thing I'm gonna be vlogging there and then I'm gonna try to vlog and practice but we really don't have much practice which I'll explain later in the vlog and then the tournament as well whether I do good bad whatever it is I'm just gonna be real about it because it's not the type of person just to upload you know the best of the best every single time you know as you guys know especially the OG people I upload whatever it is you know if <laughs> if it's something bad if it's something embarrassing whatever it is I upload it that's just how it is and that's what we're gonna be doing in this series so be sure to pepper the like button and hold on because it's gonna be good So this is actually the first step of the process. I'm taking it to the tire shop right now because I do have a problem. I believe it's this tire. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's rubbed raw right here in the inside. It's 100% it's something wrong with my trailer. It was this side. It was bent slightly and we fixed it and that side's better. But now this side's going bad. This is <laughs> something I'm gonna definitely have to get fixed. But for pretty much right now, I'm gonna take my spare, plop it on here, and then get a new tire on here. Just to be safe, it's only like a four hour drive, but I do not want any problems. I need to get that fixed before I leave. So, ha, my luck, my, my eyes have the best luck ever. As you guys can tell, I'm at the old tire place. They actually got nine different sizes of trailer tires in today. And the one that they don't have is the one that I need. What they're pretty much doing is they're gonna have to go get it. They have them in their warehouse, so it's gonna be like a couple hours. I'm just gonna drop the boat off. They're just gonna throw my spare on where that one's at right now. And then whenever they get that tire in, they'll just, I'll just come by and pick it up. But gosh, every single time, guys, there's something stupid that's happening. And now, it's time to get this bad boy washed. I'm done with this. <laughs> so now is about that time to go mess around with my rods and reels. Today has literally been like a day and a half, a day and a quarter. It's been a long day. So what I have is I have the boat behind me. I got, I got my truck right here. I'm about to go take it somewhere and then we're gonna be rigging up some rods and reels and that whole that whole deal. I'm sorry if I'm like breathing weird. I got stupid hiccups and I can't get, I can't get them away. So we're gonna go park this boat somewhere and I'll catch back up with you guys. So we're at the old filming spot right now. I'm actually kind of excited for this. I've never been here. I kind of just, guys, I don't know what is up wrong with me. I still have the hiccups. I'm kind of freaking out, honestly. I'm, I'm really, whew, I leave, man. It's been going on for literally like 30 minutes. Anyways, we just found this spot right here. The reason why I'm not like in my neighborhood or by my house, is because it's five o'clock uh, it's because it's five o'clock and there's a lot of traffic you know you got the cars moving in, everybody coming home from work you got the dogs barking you got the babies chirping and whatever else happens at five o'clock i literally thought this was bird crap for a minute not gonna lie 
I literally was about to freak. I keep on getting distracted. But anyways, this is the main purpose of the video is obviously the preparation of my rods and reels. And if you guys are watching this and you think I'm going to tie on all the baits that I'm going to be throwing, you you little, I, I see some of you guys through the camera right now and I already know how people are. They're just going to go watch this video just to see what I'm tying on and then go tie it on. But in reality, I don't know what I'm doing because I haven't really had much time to practice out there. So kind of wasting your time honestly but i'm gonna be pretty much pairing up my reels with my rods i got some new reels and some new rods i'm excited to show you guys in general and we're gonna be rigging these bad boys up and i'm gonna show you how pretty much i rig my rods for a tournament and get stuff ready i'm gonna get a little bit of practice when i'm there but it's not gonna be long at all that's the only thing i'm kind of worried about i've had one day of practice so far um it's pretty decent we caught like it was a few weeks out so i really didn't care about hooking too many fish we got like 12 fish when we were there um one big one my buddy adam he caught like a, one that was pushing five rather than that they were moderately so i mean we had some decent ones but nothing not, nothing bigger than five by any means we're about to rig these bad boys up i'm gonna get them all out and show you guys what i got So I actually have these rods right here, as you guys can tell. A couple Concept Z's, a couple Concept A's, and an old Cree GT in the middle. I got these rods that are actually brand new. And then, oh, a little, little sneaky little son of a gun hiding in a corner. Got this little sexy Concept Z. Another one brand spanking new. Literally just took it here. Literally just took it out of the box right here. Those are actually brand new too, but I didn't have a chance to unbox those. But now we are. Nice, man. I don't know if I caught that on camera or not. <laughs> I swear there can never be a day where I'm just not fighting wind. I've been sitting here waiting for the wind to calm down. So I do have this reel right here. This is an old Concept Z. This is the one I actually used in my latest video. If you guys haven't seen that one, go check it out. If you guys haven't seen the girls versus the boys, go check that one out as well. They're both bangers. Anyways, as you guys can tell, I got some line on this one. I actually put 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. So this one is all ready. That one is perfectly good to go. There's no need for anything else on that one. And then I'll also have this Concept Z that I put some 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon as well. If you guys were wondering, it's in Vizek. That's pretty much literally the only fluoro I've used for the past five years. That's literally all I use. It's a little pricey. Um, it can be a little bit more expensive, but it lasts a long time. It casts so good. You're not gonna have any problems with your line spooling up or going bad. I mean, it's just all in all a really great line. But the only problem I have with this little setup right here, I have it on a fake chrome, and my reel seems to be slightly falling off the rod. I don't know why. I hooked set a few fish the other day on the river, pretty much why I had that bait on too. And my reel kept coming off. I don't know why. It just kept kind of like sliding off. And I really need to take care of more. <laughs> More care of my stuff and clean some of this that's probably one of my problems but i'm gonna take that off see what i can do about that possibly throw it on a new rod because i do have those two sitting over there that i'm doing nothing with and also i did film on the river the other day but i didn't really vlog much it was kind of just straight me recording and it's a lot of raw footage if you guys want to see some raw footage like that let me know in the comment section below because i usually don't post raw videos i usually edit a lot and I do the whole thing so it's super entertaining for you guys but if you guys want to see some raw footage videos and it's also on the boat and I know you guys have been wanting some videos on the boat and I've been slacking lately on that but this weekend's gonna make up for it I promise and then we have the old spinning rod and obviously this one does not boy what in the world as I was saying before those dang rods fell over this one's all good to go. I have some braid on there. I'll just pretty much have to re, I'd have to put another fluorocarbon leader on there. I'm not too worried about that one. That one should be good to go as well. So that's three that are good. I just have to, you know, check out the rod on this one. Both of these bad boys right here definitely need to be spooled. And then obviously the Concept Z that has nothing on it. So let's go ahead and hop into this. All right, boys time to start so this is what i'm gonna start off with since i don't have to take off line on this bad boy this is the first one i'm gonna do which is the concept z this is going on a muse black by 13 fish and this is 7-1 medium heavy fast which is as you guys know probably not probably it is my favorite rod or favorite all-time rod favorite all-time rod no favorite all-time favorite all-around rod of all time by far it's probably like a seven foot seven foot one about a seven foot one medium heavy fast action that is my favorite go-to. That's what about <laughs> all my rods are. That is the combo right there, man. Brand spanking new, brand new rod. Just took it out of that package. Brand new reel just came out of this deer here. Old box. It is ready to fly. But first, we do need to put some line. This is actually what Seaguar Invisex looks like. It is 15. This is 12 pound, Noah. I literally just grabbed my 15. 
I cannot win, man. All right, I had to go back in my truck and messing up today. So this is 15 pound CR Viz X. I also got some 17 right here that I'll probably be using as well. I'm, I'm pretty much thinking one of my reels, I'm respooling three right now. I think one of them is gonna have 12. Two of them are gonna have 15, so I'm gonna go ahead and start re-spooling this bad boy right here, old Concept Z. I was gonna record me spooling the other ones, but I needed them for practice that weekend. I'm not gonna show you guys how to spool a bait caster because the majority of you guys probably already know, but if you guys do wanna see a video on that, let me know in the comment section. There's one thing I, I just have a hard time figuring out. Like, where are you guys at in the, like, whole fishing deal like i don't know how far i don't know if like a lot of you guys are beginners or which i know a lot of you guys are because i hear people or i see people comment it all the time but like what do you need to learn like what type of tip videos do you need just comment which ones below one little tip that i can tell you guys when you're putting line on your reel say you're by yourself or something whatever it is make sure you're putting pressure on your line you might need to grab like a little rag or something so you don't burn your hands but i'm just stubborn and i don't really care i've already burnt the heck out of my thumb i just do not care make sure you're gripping this line i don't know if you guys can hear that and, and adding some pressure on here because if you don't add pressure what's going to happen is when you go to cast that's when your lines don't go crazy especially if you're just now starting fishing and you're learning how to cast a bait caster this and this and that whatever it is <laughs> make sure you put your line on good because when you first start casting that thing it's going to be bad if, if you don't that is one done the old concept z boom that is all done right there concept z on amuse black if you guys are wondering a lot of people have been commenting about concept z and pretty much my opinion on it my 100 percent honest opinion i believe it is the best reel i have used from 13 fishing out of any of them i really 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 enjoy it just got these in the mail so i was super excited about it finally got to rig them all up obviously because i was, want I was waiting to make a video and then i was going to practice and i was like you know what i gotta spool these up because i really want to cast them like the concept day is really good but i just love the z something about the z the color's grown on me too i at first i was like man i don't know about this orange because i'm all green so i love the fade blacks the orange has grown on me a lot and i really like the z it's just so unique like there's not a real out there like it paint job internals whole deal there's not a real out there like it it's just the facts now here's the fun part is taking off the line not a fan of and i got a crankbait on this reel a rod that is literally probably the worst crankbait i could ever put on there first of all the paint's almost about gone off of it the bill is so nasty it's so beat up that it looks yellow instead of clear the hooks are about to rust off of it that thing is just done i tied it on to, for the river for like five minutes because i wanted to catch a fish real quick where i where i knew there was one sitting and I didn't care what I used, obviously. I did catch one. Officially done with my rods and reels. I will show you guys right now. I didn't want to keep on doing them one by one and just completely bore you guys. So let me show you guys what I got going on. Oh my God. Oh. I slammed my knee, boys and girls. Oh my God. That bad boy about killed me. So as you guys can tell, we got three Concept Zs right here, and then we have two Concept As. All three of these Concept Zs, I have 15 pound Cigar and Vizx fluorocarbon, and I have 12 pound on that Concept A, and then another 15 pound right here. I do need to rig up a braided reel, but that one's gonna be for later because I don't even have any braid on me at the moment. And then of course, I have my old spinning rod. I didn't do anything of this. I'm just gonna have to change out my leader line when I get there. That's not a big deal at all. For the rods, I have a Muse, a Defy, and a Fate Chrome on the Concept Z's, which is kind of crazy. I have three different rods, which is a Muse, Defy, Fate Chrome. And then the Fate Blacks, obviously, because they're the same, the green rods, only, only green rods. And then I'll also have some spare rods and reels that I bring on the trip. I'll just have like, definitely, this rod right here, ooh, 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 I almost forgot. That's one thing I have to do. I do have to switch that rod up there out with this one because it was not holding that reel for some reason. It didn't want to grip super tight. I believe that's about it for the rods and reels. I'm not gonna rig up all my baits at the moment. So as you guys know, I washed this today. I just took it to a little quarter car wash and did what I could do. There's one thing I don't do with the wrap is put a brush on it. And that's where my problem was, is that quarter car washes, that's all they really have is brushes to clean it, obviously. So what I did is pretty much put the brush on here and slightly just rubbed, you know, soap pretty much everywhere all over the truck and then i just pretty much hosed it down and then when i got back to my house i got a little rag and really wiped it down but it it looks pretty clean i mean i did a good job for not scrubbing this thing i'm telling you once i wiped it down when i got back that's where it really happened but as you guys can tell by that 
Those are not clean at all. I gotta go clean those right now. I gotta at least wipe those down or something. I did a very bad job on that. And then the boat just wiped it down. Very simple. I didn't give it like a wash, but I did wipe it down here and there. As you guys can tell, I mean, it's not horrible. A little dirty right there. The new tire is all good. That one's perfect. This was actually my spare and the new one is actually over here. Right here, brand new tire. Just wanna make sure everything's good when I go on this trip. So now I have a long night ahead of me. It's around seven o'clock right now, I believe so. Maybe a little past seven. The sun's about to go down right now. I'm pretty much gonna be going back to my house, doing a little bit more homework because I did some earlier. I've been running around all day, literally haven't stopped, but that's every day, <laughs> every day that happens. I have to edit this video as well. And also I do wanna go to the gym before I go out of town. If I have time for that, I might get squeaking like a little 45 minute session in or something, but it's gonna be be fun but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys want to see some more documenting vlogs like this i feel like i don't even get to do these anymore like i is i've kind of missed it honestly i do talk a lot i know i talk a lot but if you guys enjoy these vlogs and want to see more like this be sure to pepper that like button let me know in the comment section below because i am so down to make them i actually have fun making these so i'm so down i am going to be waking up at five probably around four o'clock tomorrow leaving at five o'clock and heading over to west point so that's when i will pick this camera back up and vlog some more for you guys and i'll catch you guys on sunday at the next video thank you guys so much for support i love you guys so much i catch you all wait click that subscribe button if you haven't already if you guys don't know who i am i'm noah the host of the show also click the little bell right next to it and see you i got sky like the brother man uh i crack cars get hella bands uh i got a bra from the motherland uh i got shooters wins uh i get it get it uh anyway uh pull up skirt in the hurricane uh i crack cars cook every day uh i get money up uh, every day uh